Hey guys, we're out at Little Pond. We fished the other day again. Well, I say we, it's just me today. <clears throat> um, I brought fishing care package. Got their soft plastic sampler. I've heard a lot of bad things about them, so haven't opened it yet. We're gonna open it up, see what's inside. Um, we're only fishing with what I get out of it, so don't know how it's gonna go. And let's open this thing up. All right, let's open this thing. Make sure that's angled good for you. All right, they sent it in a plastic bag. Not sure how I feel about that uh, packaging method. Let's just go ahead and dump everything out. Stuff's apparently stuck to the bag. All right, there we go. The, uh, the description was 8 to 12 things, so we got what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? Eh, that's not bad. Alright, let's see what we got. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, well, 3 Sankos, more of a finesse worm, curly tailed thing. I'm not really a, don't really know my uh, stuff about plastics, so, you know, forgive me when I say stuff wrong. We got two little swim baits here. This nice uh, creature bait of some sort. This could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is what you get with a uh, beetle spin. Pretty sure that's just a little beetle spin plastic not really very useful for bass and two uh, pearl colored things so that's what we got that's what we're fishing with today might go with this dark uh, was this purple and black Sanko all right let's get something rigged up and I'll show you what I put on all right so I'm just gonna show you what I rigged up real quick this uh Dark Sanko, just Texas rigged it with that uh, keel weighted hook. Then swim bait, this little jig head. Probably going to be a little too heavy, might have to switch that out. But uh, I already had the jig head tied on, so I didn't want to really retie that. Uh, we're not going to use the bait caster today, just because I don't feel like dealing with all the bird's nests and stuff. But uh, we'll, we'll get it out another day. So the last couple days it's finally actually warmed up, like it's probably, oh it's definitely 70 out right now, pretty overcast, had a little rain this morning, yesterday sunny all day, high 70s, like perfect spring day. So hopefully the water warmed up a little bit, maybe these fish are a little bit more active. I mean we didn't have a whole lot of trouble catching them when it was cold out, but Still plenty of ducks and stuff out here. Oh, that was a fish right there, boys. First cast. Took some weeds too, but that was definitely a nice bite. hard to rig these worms up very well. I might uh I'm sure you know lots of people are gonna say oh that's not how you rig it. Well we're gonna give it a try. Might as well There we go. Oh yeah. Oh. 
That's a nice fish. Come on. All right. Oh yeah, there we go. Wow, that's a chunk right there. First cast rigging it, wacky rigged with the keel weighted hook. There we go. Look at that chunk. That's a pretty fish right there, dang. All right, let's get this bad boy back in the water. Probably peed on me. Oh, where are you going? I don't know what this fish is doing. Come on. There he goes. That was my first, uh, first wacky rig fish actually, earlier. There we go, oh, that's a nice one right there. Well, it felt like a nice one. Oh. Oh. oh, that's a small one. That's one of the smaller ones we've caught in this lake, but it's still a nice fish. All right, let's flip this guy back in. There you go, man. All right, so just switched over to my other rod, throwing the little swim bait. Let's see if we get any luck on this. No. -uh. Well, if my drag was set at all, I have no idea what I hooked. Is this a fish or weeds? What have we got here? Well, I caught a stick. I think there was a fish there to begin with, but uh, quickly became weeds. And I don't even know what that is. It's actually wire. This pond is just a mess. We're hoping to, sometime next week, well, might be two weeks, depending on schoolwork, come out here and just do a little bit cleanup so we can come out here and fish and not feel like we're fishing in this mess. I don't know, I probably haven't talked about it a whole lot, but we're just a group of uh, college students that run this channel. There's currently three of us right now, but the idea is come summer, we're all gonna be different places, fishing different stuff, just bringing you different content and whatnot, but Two of us go to school here in uh, Northeast Missouri, so me and Shane, who, well, we're the only two at this point you've actually seen a video from, because the fishing back in Illinois has been so bad that Caden, our other member, just hasn't caught a fish, which, I mean, that sucks, but that's Illinois for you. I mean, this, this little uh, swim bait looks all right in the water. I don't know, the water just might be too cold for them to be active enough. There we go. Oh, yeah, come on. Another small guy. We'll take it. I'll take it if I can grab him. There we go. A small one. Still a nice fish. Alright, there you go, bud. Why do they all do this? They swim the wrong direction. There, there he goes. It's starting to rain a little bit more now. Before it was just the occasional drop. Now it's actually coming down a bit. But not a swim bait fish though. So. We'll throw this a few more times before we switch back over. I don't know, I don't know if I've ever 
lost a fish. Oh, there we go. Ah. If I could manage to grab this guy. I mean, oh, he just choked that bad boy. Oh, yeah. The bridge is probably... I'd say it's one of my favorite spots of this lake. Probably my favorite other than this corner back here. Yeah, I know, I just reeled it to the tip. Real uh, real professional mo angling move on my part. Stick everything back in here. Got a lot of junk in this bag. I'll have to make a full video about the bag just to talk about what I carry with me. All the things that I bring with me that I don't really need, but still lug around as I fish this pond. Hopefully these geese aren't a, too big of pains. All right, took a short little break, had to uh, change out the GoPro battery. Thankfully I brought a bunch today. Um, I'm feeling this dark color. Actually, nah, we're gonna go with the lighter one. I think the dark one's green. Not really sure what this is. Kinda looks like one that they uh, just burnt a little on the bottom but there we go that's about the middle I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to o-rings oh here we go one thing I am going to point out though Elite Catch Baits. They are one of our channel sponsors. Unfortunately not using any of their baits today. I'd probably be catching twice as many fish if I was. But they make some really high quality soft plastics like this. They make some great colors. I've got some of their June Bug, a couple other of their colors that I really like. But mixing it up today, doing this. I'm gonna come down to just this little point, try to fish off of it, fish back into the bigger part of the lake. <sighs> just cause why not? Oh, there's a goose. Nope, we're going away. <laughs> not sure how much you could see there, but uh, she's definitely sitting on some eggs. So, looks like we're staying over here. <laughs> I think when I came out here I'd be running away from geese the entire time. So we're gonna stay a good distance away just because I don't want to mess with that right now. But yeah, she stood up and you could see a full nest of eggs underneath her. And I wasn't even that close to her, so she really blend blended in with the rocks. Last retrieve just because it's gonna sink down no matter what. I think we're going to call it right there, been out here for a good two hours or so, so yeah, two hours of fishing, quite a few nice fish, I mean I'm going to cast while I walk back to pick up my stuff, but I think it's about time I get out of here. I do have some studying and stuff to do for tests on Monday, so I should probably get to work on that math test and uh, nutrition test I need to be studying for so unless I can just catch something right here. I even take a little gill right now. Sunfish, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, well yeah it'll probably be about a week before I get another video out for you guys. It's hard doing school and editing at the same time but keep up the fishing. Good luck guys.